Hi everyone, welcome to Trags Gaming and in today's video I'm going to show you how we farm Tide Spray Linen and Deep Sea Satin. As you can see on the footage already running we are in Nazmir in a place called Zalamar. The coordinates for this location are 48, 51, 48, 52. Now we are farming in a total party of four. Two people upstairs in the village and two people downstairs in the village now what we are going to do we are triggering insta spawn so in the beginning it goes rather slow until you got enough kills and then you start to trigger the insta respawn which means you're never running out of mobs now all of the humanoids that you see running around here um, have the potential to drop deep sea satin tight spray linen also uh, green armor Epic BOEs, there's a, slow, uh, there's a small chance, in three times that we visited that place, we ha actually had two BOEs uh, divided on the three of us. And you also have the chance to receive the Mount Leaping Vein Seeker. Now to farm tight spray linen and deep sea satin, there are two things that are important for you to have. First of all is a passive buff called Cloth Scavenging that you receive from a quest in Old Dalaran, which means you have to visit Northrend to get uh, Northrend Tailoring. There used to be a skill level required, a total of 325 skill points in Tailoring before you were able to receive this quest, but th that one has been withdrawn, although we had a bug with Miss Her Mage, so we had to speak with a Game Master to unlock this passive buff because the quest kept bugging so you can do this from even a freshly character where you just learn tailoring on now the second requirement is a item you can craft when you reach 150 skill levels in bfa tailoring it's called the cychronius thread and you all you need to do is just do a few dungeons you have to collect these items then you have to craft it and then you have to keep it with you you can also open up time rifts that you can find scattered across the world. You have to use that item on that time rift. And sometimes it spawns an enemy where you get tight spray linen or deep sea, deep sea satin. Or sometimes you just receive trash. And sometimes it spawns a vendor where you need to trade embroidered deep sea satin. Now, like I said, we farm these with four people two upstairs two downstairs to trigger the insta spawn we kill for about two minutes and then we switch savvy made a macro yeah he's following the timer on loot appraiser and he just spams the macro when we need to switch to the other location so two people start upstairs two people start downstairs two minutes of killing then swap location loot rinse and repeat start killing again two minutes then back up same thing now it's also important if you do these kind of locations that the setup is a little bit right. Savvy was on his monk who learned tailoring just for the purpose of farming. So he's using a statue downstairs with Miss Arcane Blasting all the way. And I'm teamed up with my friendly DK friend on my Shadow Priest. Which gives me some range pulling, some AoEs and also some passive healing. So it goes rather quick. Miss is downstairs camping the statue doing arcane blast all the way savvy is pulling everything towards the statue doing some leg sweeps in between and upstairs we have the dk doing insane kind of damage gets no damage whatsoever and i'm there for the aoe spamming and pulling from all directions now our dk friend does not have tailoring is just there for the fun looting the green armors getting the chance on the boes and the mount as well so on average every person had between 40 and 50 green armor pieces you can scrap them you can put them on the auction house for just a few gold if you want or you can disenchant those to get gloom dust and maybe a chance on some umbra shards now we use them to scrap them in order to get expulsum and all of these other materials now on average, if you are equipped with the cloth scavenging buff and the Cychronius Strat, you, you will receive between 1200 and 1400 tight spray linen per person. So we were farming with four people, 
but we were farming the three of us for let's gold cap that's the series we are doing so each of us almost had seven full stacks of tight spray linen at the end of one hour farming for deep sea satin we almost had every one of us a full stack of deep sea satin so you're coming in around 160 to 200 deep sea satin now bringing to that also those green armors also giving us materials and the expulsum the chance on looting a boe which occurred twice in the three time the three last times we farmed there so we had 350 a 350 trinket a 350 ring and a 350 belt so they easily go for 50 thousand gold except for the trinket because you can craft higher ones with inscription and then at the end also the chance on amount but none of us had that before so one day it will come now i know a lot of other places that you can farm deep sea satin tight spray linen but it's just simply this one is one of the most fun to do because you're pulling on that timer of two minutes and you have to swap location it's just simply racing doing as much damage as you can preferably aoe damage so if you go out there get a bunch of friends everyone brings their tailor make sure that you have like um, a tankable character who can keep who can keep the aggro a lot of mobs really a lot of mobs if you have a higher item level you can probably solo it but it's it gets kind of hard the more you're gonna pull especially those especially those elites that run around there can can mess things up if you're not aware of the situation a lot of aoe makes it easy um classes with insta casts are really easy just to pull from a long distance so like i said it's simply a race it's fun you do a lot of dps you see a lot of things coming in your bags you even have get a lot of gold just by simply looting those characters around 1000 gold in an hour as well not to forget all those trash stuff you get don't throw those away just sell them there are stuff that's going for 10 gold a piece 50 silver a piece even the gray stuff adds up easy to 500 to 1000 gold there are a lot of locations you can do there are locations in zandalar there are locations in voldoon where you have a chance on another mount but this is really one of the most fun locations that we have for tight spray linen and deep sea bat deep sea satin but also one of the best locations it just requires you to farm on two locations within the small village one on top one below you will have a chance that a world quest starts in the vicinity and there's an NPC that pops up at the lower location which resets the spawn, the insta spawn that you do so you have to start all over again that occurred once for us so just a few things to keep in mind nonetheless if you have seven stacks of tight spray linen which go between two and four gold apiece on EU servers and then a full stack of deep sea satin which goes between 50 and 150 gold on EU servers for our server it's 75 gold every deep sea satin which means that's 15,000 gold on its own so with the three of us farming that's 4,500 gold worth of deep sea satin that we don't have to buy out because sometimes those items get flipped and the price goes up to 200 gold for some crazy reason because it's so scarce just to have them so that's why we started farming deep sea satin so try it out yourself make a group of at least two people two strong people or just go with a bunch of friends maybe some people who want to have a chance on that mount on boes that can help you out make sure you have some ranged pullers some crazy aoe or tanks that can um, survive these horrible attacks from all of these mobs but most of all have fun farming and before I go, don't forget, we are doing the Let's Gold Cap series. You can find those on the YouTube channel as well. We also have a Discord connected to it that you can find the link of in the description below where you can find us, where you can ask questions, where you can get our full TSM group that we are using for our Let's Gold Cap series. So thank you for watching. Have fun farming. And I'll see you all in the next video. 
拜拜。